Hi, Lynn's over here with Vibrant Health Evolution. I'm on day three of the 369 cleanse, and I'm gonna try out the spinach soup today. So I've got this um, organic cucumber. So because it's organic, I washed it, but I left the peel on. If it's not organic, you'd wanna peel it. And I'm gonna spiralize it. You could also use like a julienne peeler or something like that. So this is making some cucumber noodles. That's coming out pretty good. And then it says one pint of tomatoes is gonna go in there. Okay, that's probably plenty of noodles for me for this moment, but I'm almost done with this, so might as well finish. So, you know, you may be asking, well, why would you wanna do a cleanse? Why do we need to cleanse? And we are all surrounded by toxins all the time and our livers collect all those toxins and try and hide them away from us and keep us safe. Uh, but eventually the liver gets full and then it gets kind of slow and sluggish and we start to experience symptoms, some of which you may not even realize you're experiencing like fatigue or tiredness or you know, eczema or rashes or any virus can take hold when the liver can't do its job. So to make your, your and, and aging too, we age a lot faster, right? If the liver can't help keep us safe from, um, from uh, the oxidation that happens in the body. So, so this is a good reason to do the cleanse. And I know I was born with jaundice, which means my liver was already compromised um, coming out of the womb. And that comes from the egg and the sperm. You can receive toxins from your ancestors that way. And, uh, and then you breathe stuff in, you know, there's stuff in our air, there's stuff in our water that we drink, heavy metals, fluoride, chlorine. Um, we drink out of aluminum cans, so we get heavy metals from that. Uh, we breathe in gas fumes from our stove or from our cars. So uh, scented candles, anything like that, uh, are all ways you can get exposed. All right, so this um, spinach soup is gonna save, it calls for two, one pint tomatoes. So, if I remember correctly, I think a pint is two cups, so I'm going to go with two cups. One. Okay, about two cups of tomatoes. And then it's saying for one stalk of celery, just put that in. One clove of garlic, put that in and four cups of baby spinach, loosely packed. Okay, so probably about one. We're just gonna do one, two, three, four. And then we've got a couple um, basil leaves, or it says a few sprigs of cilantro. So I'm gonna put that in there. I've actually got this parsley and cilantro diced up already. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there just for some flavor. And then we're gonna add um, juice from an orange. Get my orange here. Cut this puppy in half. Use something like this, or you could just squeeze it. Orange juice is good. It adds a little, adds some vitamin C and some glucose in there. We're gonna get some glucose from the tomatoes as well. And man, the spinach is loaded with vitamins and nutrients and trace minerals. Cucumber is gonna carry lots of living water, easily absorbable nutrients for the body. People often ask, well, what about protein? What about fat? So the truth is that you can actually get all the protein and the fat you need from fruits and veggies. Every, every piece of fruit and veggie has some amount, even if it's just trace amounts of fat and protein. And when I've plugged my meals into one of those food calculators, just eating veggies, I usually just crush it. I'll have like plenty of protein in there, especially with the variety that I eat of cilantro and parsley and sprouts and herbs things like that on my meals it really adds a lot of nutrition so the cleanse is going well so far I uh, this morning I had a liter of lemon water um, a liter of celery juice and then a liter of smoothie and then I went and did my hot yoga and now I came home and I had a 
sweet potato that I had steamed up yesterday, so I snacked on that. Um, and now I'm gonna do this spinach soup. And I also steamed up some asparagus and some broccoli. And then I think we're gonna need to add some water to this to blend. And then we'll try the spinach soup with the cucumber noodles. here. See that? And then we just take the spinach soup and pour it on top. And then I'm going to add the basil on top. We'll see if that looks like, doesn't quite look like his picture, but <laughs> the spinach soup recipe here looks pretty good, huh? And uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Hope you'll join me for a cleanse. I'm posting all these videos on YouTube so you can see how to do it. This is Winslow Passy with Vibrant Health Evolution. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.